next thing to do is to add the outside side plate to the drivetrain. The best way to do this is to mirror the part and make the opposite hand version of the side plate. This way, any features you add to the original will move to the other plate. Create a new plane in the middle of one of the axles. This will be our mirroring plate. Then, go to the Mirroring Components tool, select the plane and the part. Go to the next step and click Create Opposite Hand Version. In the next step, make a custom name for the part. This part will be S15-OS-S005. When you create the part this way, we can still open the mirrored part and add different features to it. For example, if I want the transmission mounting holes to be bigger so a bolt can fit through it, I can use the hole wizard and add a larger hole. Now we can mirror all the other parts. This time, we are not going to make an opposite hand version of them though. Use the same plane we created for the outside plate. Go to the Mirror Components tool and select all of the axle support plates and any fasteners you added to them. Use the preview to be sure you selected the correct mirror option. Everything will be added to the Mirrored Components feature in the Feature Tree. We can now create the front and back plate. This plate will be the same for the front and back, so we only need to create one plate. Start a new part and make a sheet metal base on the front plate, 25.5 inches wide by 4.75 inches tall. Make the sheet metal 90 thou thick. Make two flanges, one on the top and the other on the bottom. Do not make the side flanges. These flanges will be 2 inches long, and the type of flange will be material outside. This is so we can keep the 4.75 inch measurement, and still have it fit around the already 4.75 inch tall side plates. Also, we are making the flanges 2 inches long, so we can make the frame sturdier. This little bit of extra material can greatly increase the strength of the whole frame. Now we can save the part and import it into the assembly. Made it to the frame properly, and we can start to add rivet holes to match the existing ones. When the part is in place, measure the locations for where the rivet holes need to go. Now, go back into the part file and add that hole. You can pattern it 0.75 inches. Now measure the other holes and add those too. Also, be sure to add the holes for the front face so we can attach the front plate to the front of the inside side plate. Now use the mirroring tool to add the back plate to the back of the drivetrain. After all of the changes we made in the video, the drivetrain should look something like this. We will soon be finished designing the drivetrain.